Today I fucked up by walking past an exchange student orientation. I'm honestly quite shocked that it happened, but also not at the same time. Before I begin, I'm a 20-year-old college student with Asian roots. This is important to the story. So there's a high school I have to walk past to get to my bus stop and an orientation for new exchange students was going on out front outside. I already knew this was happening since the sign outside displayed it for about a week. I casually walk by as per usual, but I hear a voice yelling hey you where do you think you're going? I paused for a split second and continued along thinking it was about someone else. Then again, hey you have to listen to your teachers get back here. I now turn around to look and the lady leading the orientation was furiously waving at me to go over there and then yelled again, come on you're holding up the group I then responded with I don't go to this school and proceeded to head to the bus stop. As I see my bus approaching from a distance, I try to sprint for it, but then I feel her grab my arm from behind she was fast and then began to berate me that I don't get to just ditch school here. I guess she didn't hear me the first time, so I grabbed my student ID to show her and told her again that I'm not a student there. As that happened, the bus just passed by us since no one was at the stop. She made me miss by damn bus. She kinda just chuckled a bit and half-heartedly apologized before turning back to rejoin her group. At that point, I had to pay $30 an Uber to get me to school this bus comes once an hour. TLDR high school was having student exchange orientation, had to walk past said high school to get to bus stop, got mistaken as a runaway exchange student, which led to me missing my bus and Ubering instead. Send a passive-aggressive letter to the school with an invoice for the Uber. I'm half Asian and commute by train. Our area is quite touristy so during high season about half the train is packed with Asian tourists. They usually get some kind of group deal for their train tickets. Well, one day I see the ticket collector enter the coach to check everyone's passes. So I grab my wallet and hold my ticket ready. Collector gets to the group of Asians, checks their ticket, wishes them a good day. And walks right past me. Maybe from now on, I should just always sit next to the tourists and use my money for something else. I would get that school to reimburse that Uber fee if you had the time and energy. This reminds me of the time when my school in Louisiana rounded up all of us Latinos and stuck us in ESL classes. About 90 of us were born in the States and spoke English as a first language. LOL. Pretty weird of the lady to just go for it and grab you. I see people in the comments go pretty crazy with pressing charges but that seems like a terrible idea. Checking if they could reimburse you for the Uber is definitely worth a try though. Have fun in your new school. I can't believe she touched you by grabbing you by the arm. That's some craziness and worth reporting to the school. Reminds me of how my mom Indo Guyanese got put in an ESL class as a six year old in Canada. English is the official language of Guyana. Sorry you had to go through this OP, I hope you find $30 on the street. Write an invoice to the school with the Uber receipt and a brief explanation as to why they are receiving it that you are concerned with the manner in which the faculty reacted to you, and that you'd appreciate if they could cover the cost of transportation for the inconvenience it caused you. If they respond, you'll have something in writing to being to file a report or talk to a lawyer with for small claims court. The fact that this lady said you can't skip school here is really fucked. Right so you are taking the receipt for your Uber to the school office and giving them the choice of compensating you or you file charges for assault against their teacher right? Holy shit dude. I dunno how you kept your shit. I would have demanded that she pay me back for the Uber. And the filed a complaint with the principal because she sure as fuck shouldn't be laying hands on you even if you were a student there. I'm sorry but I'm cracking up here lol yesterday I was told here in Japan that I'm not a native English speaker, apparently because of my name. And now I guess you have to be a foreigner in the US, I presume, because you're Asian lol. I moved to the US when I was a kid, 
and 10 years later when I went to university in the US they gave me all the international student orientation materials. No thanks guys. She kinda just chuckled a bit and half-heartedly apologized before turning back to rejoin her group. She assaulted you. At the very least go back to the school and complain about her behavior. You didn't fuck up, that lady is a racist idiot. Damn, that teacher sucks doesn't she know that there is a such thing as Asian Americans? WTF. I'm sorry for getting angry, but that's just not right pouting face. What they did was illegal. I would go have a talk with their higher management whoever that is. People calling for legal action are insane. It sounds like an innocent, albeit irritating, mistake on the lady's part. Any attempt to take the woman or school to court is going to cost more than the $30, not to mention the time and annoyance. When you said you had roots, my guess was that this wasn't going anywhere. Send a bill to the school. Send a report for racial profiling and try and get the $30 compensation for the Uber. You can go further than that if you want. I understand that you are only 20 years old but next time if someone treats you like this and makes you miss something don't let them come off this easily. That's lesser today I fucked up and more that lady didn't know who was in her group. I did some IT work in schools and one of our engineers was a really young guy that left school early to work for us. One of our jobs was at his old school and a couple teachers stopped him asking why he was out of class because they recognized him. It's concerning so many people, want blood over this. Yeah it was unfortunate you missed your bus. And yeah it was unfortunate that you know you got racially profiled and that's what ultimately caused it but, seriously you were okay with it and let it go. I'm shocked how many people aren't okay with it. It was an accident. You didn't fuck up, but yeah this is probably one of the reasons having a school uniform is a good idea in America lol. Before I begin, I'm a 20 year old college student with Asian roots. You could probably guess where this is going. I had no earthly idea where this was going. I wish you said fuck you made me miss my bus and now you can pay for my uber so I don't miss my class you stupid racist bitch. Report her to the school and make them. Reimburse you for the uber. How racist. So. This subreddit is now mildly interesting stories that happened to me because of somebody else's mistake. Why the fuck do people post shit here when they didn't do anything wrong or make any mistake? Picard it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is material for Tifu. Not a Tifu. Casual racism by the teacher. People on Reddit hate hearing this so I'm expecting the usual downvotes but this is precisely what small claims court is for. She racially profiled you, detained you unlawfully and by doing so caused you to miss your bus and damage you financially to the tune of a $30 Uber ride. It'll cost you $50 to go to small claims court which you can also demand that she pay as well, along with the $30 Uber fare. Maybe then she will think twice about assuming that every Asian person she sees is one of her students. Not in the US. I know Canada and the UK have similar type setups. You know, we've seen this often enough but this literally was not your F you. Isn't there a sub called eventing or something that can feature these stories? Sounds like the real villain here is underfunded public transit. Once an hour? That's insane. I would riot. What was your fuck up? Nah man, this is a win despite the 30 bucks lost. You can keep your cool in a situation that most of us would have blown up over and you look quite a few years younger than your age. That first half is already paying off in places you don't realize and the second half will be super nice in another decade or two. Just based on this post I'm gonna assume the area you live in isn't very diverse since they automatically assume that you were ditching orientation just because you're